Hi guys, my name is Jose Diaz. I am going to show to how to build a REST application with the Spring Boot. You have two options, really. The first option is using to start dot spring dot io web page generate and maven or gradle project with spring boot using the last version i recommend the last version you need to fill your group information this is the company principal company artifact is the name of the project and you need to add the spring boot starter for example web Full stack web development with Tonkat and Spring MVC. This started at Spring MVC and Tonkat MVB in your project. JPA, persistent API at the project. And finally, MySQL JDBC driver. MySQL database is very popular in the Java community. Okay, that is all. Uh, click on generate project button. And you get the source code in your download project. Open your STS file import Maven existing Maven project is the correct option. Browse your source code in the download folder. That is all. Pretty cool. Issue tracker is ready. Click in pound.xml you can to see Spring Boot started padding using the last version uh, Spring Boot started data JPA Spring Boot started web at MySQL Connector Java according to your elections in, in the web page and each starter dependency at Maven dependencies in your project, for example, Spring Boot, Logbat uh, for logging is the is the default logging library. Hibernate is the default uh, persisting API. Jackson for Marchand Marshall. And, and Marshall object to JSON, JSON to object. And for this dependency, Spring Boot Starter Tell, you, you get JUnit, Mosquito, and Spring Test. Because it's very important to create unit and integration tests in your projects. This plugin, Spring Boot Maven plugin, is to run in your REST application from terminal. That is all. Uh, you, you have to a uh, second option inside to IDA, IDE, sorry, file new Spring Starter project. But it's not very funny for me <laughs> because the is an Eclipse form. But it's very similar. You need to choose web. JPA and MySQL database. See, this starter dependency is very uh, used in your projects, is added in your frequently used section. Okay, next, uh, click on finish button. You get a similar project according to the first option. Okay, uh, that is all for this video. In the second video, I am going to show uh, to create the business domain. This application is an issue tracker similar to Jira, to RedMine, or uh, Mantis by using Spring Boot and Java, uh, of course.
see you thank you very much